What's up everybody, welcome to another episode of Rainbow Six Siege Top 5 Plays. A series where I go over all your submitted videos and place them from 5th to 1st. Now let's take a chance to recap on the previous video's top play. Coming in at number 5 this week, we have a Defo. Now, Defo pulls off a 1v5 clutch, although it really is only a 1v4, as there is one member of the enemy team bleeding out. After picking up one quick kill in the kitchen, he runs the hell out of there to regain himself, and he hears someone pushing from behind. He then decides to take the aggression to them, taking them out with ease. He again pulls back to reload, but soon notices somebody to his left. He gets himself some cover, peeks the angle, and gets a beautiful headshot. An overly eager enemy decides to push on the reload, but doesn't quite get there in time. So we see a defo whip out the pistol, hit him in the chest a few times, and finish him off. This definitely deserving of one of the top five plays this week. Coming in at number four this week, we've got Neffect with the ace, as well as the 1v4 to finish the round. Patiently waiting for enemies to get vision, he does knock the first off with a headshot. After some patience, we're going to see him pick off the second of the ace with a beautiful headshot. The enemy gets quite eager and Nefek takes advantage of this, taking the outside kill with a fantastic long range headshot. As the round is slowly closing in on him, he decides to take the fight inside. He then spots another head of the enemy showing his fantastic accuracy and why he's in this week's top 5 video. To finish off exactly how this footage started, he gets another ridiculous headshot, gaining both the ace for himself and the round for his team. Coming in halfway at number 3, we're going to see a play from Devious 6. He's got a C4 waiting at the entrance door right by this bomb site and is waiting eagerly for the enemy team. As he sees the enemies through this window here, he decides to detonate his nitro cell. This is going to clean up 3 and surely go a long way in securing the round for his team. Coming in at number 2 this week is going to be a play from XMX6. This is quite a short clip, but what we're going to see from XMX6 is a very nice flank and 3 fantastic knife kills, 2 to the back and 1 slash to the face. And finishing off as number one this week is going to be Sad Crocodile. Using his smarts, we're going to see him go ahead and use the camera system and see where the enemy team is coming from. He notices that they are just meters away from his location currently. Lying down, he throws a C4 over the counter and cleans up three. He says that this simply is not good enough yet, picks himself off the floor and securing the fourth kill with a fantastic headshot. Now searching for the ace, he's going to find the fifth and kill him very similar to the last. This crazy play has secured him the number one spot in this week's top five plays. Thanks everybody for watching this week's episode of Top 5 Plays. Remember if you want to submit your fantastic clips, do so in the email below in the description. And if you guys didn't watch episode 1 yet, be sure to go check it out, it'll be in the outro of this video in an annotation. If you guys are enjoying this game or just love your podcast, I strongly suggest you head over to amosysgaming.com. They also have a YouTube channel so you can even go ahead and check that one out. I'll have all of Aim Assist Gaming's links in the description below. You'll even hear me in an upcoming podcast where I'll be interviewed and we'll discuss a bit about the game. Be sure to like, comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.